Hello, my lovely Torians. How is everyone? I hope everyone is well. This is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance, and we're here to do your single soulmate reading for the next six months, looking at energies from now through until the end of the year. So guys, thank you so much for all your support for the channel. It's been amazing. Just tipped over 200,000. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So Taurus, if you're ready, let's move into this and see who is coming into your life over the next six months. OK, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. What energies do you have for Taurus, please? Who is coming in for my Taurians over the next six months? Do you have any advice, any keywords for my Taurians? Thank you. Okay, Taurus, I'm getting the words understanding and accepting that change was needed. Understanding and accepting that change was needed. So you have been through some kind of change in your love life. Okay. All right. Now, if we're talking about singles, then it could be that a relationship has gone under and you're accepting it. It could be that... Someone that you have been connecting with in terms of love has had huge changes in their life, which has affected your relationship. OK, hope you're with me. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're moving now into Twin Flame Journey Tarot. I'm using these for love energies. So let's see. Archangel Michael, can we have two cards from the Twin Flame Journey Tarot, please? For my Taurians. Thank you. Yes, those two. And that one wants to come out too. Okay. All right, guys. Let's just get these so they are in your view. Moving lastly into Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. So Archangel Michael, two cards from the Romance Angels, please. Yes, understanding and accepting change. That keeps coming through. Understanding and accepting change. We've got three guys. This could be a big reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Taurus, are you ready? Let's delve into your energy. Could also be the energy of the sum of the person, someone coming in for you. Knight of Pentacles. So Taurus, you may be moving towards someone. This could be your energy with a very slow offer of a relationship, something that's going to grow into a commitment. This is the slowest night of the deck, okay? If you notice, he is not even moving. This is you understanding that this is available for you. So you're either pensively thinking about this, or this is someone coming in to talk to you, to communicate with you. And I'm hearing the words an offer. Somebody may be wanting to start a relationship with you and you're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. It's very slow progress, though. OK, could be a fellow Earth sign. Wow. Knight of Swords. OK, now in contradiction to the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is fast movement. This is someone wanting to talk to you very quickly or you could be talking to an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Two nights, interesting. One slow, one fast. One of these nights could be your energy. You could be communicating with an air sign or a fellow earth sign about moving things forward. Strong communication. Oh my goodness, can't believe it. Taurus, what is going on, guys? Either your love life is going through the roof and you've got three offers on the table, or there's someone that is wanting to communicate with you and you're communicating with that person. Now, this is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Look at that. Never had that before in a reading. Three nights. Unbelievable. So. Now, breaking this down. The Knight of Pentacles could be you. You're standing pretty still if that is your energy. Knowing what you deserve, knowing what you're wanting, 
considering maybe two offers. One offer from a fire sign, one offer from an air sign. Potentially. You could also be in a situation, Taurus, where two people are vying for your attention, affection. Two people may, who may have come in wanting to both offer you the chance of a commitment. Now, remember, this is a future reading, guys. This could be happening in the next few months. And you're thinking about, OK, which one of these two offers is going to provide me with a relationship that I feel that I want? Wow. OK. Let's have a look at Twin Flame Journey Tarot. Nine of Cups. No wonder, Taurus, you're sitting there going, I am pretty damn happy right now, sitting in the Nine of Cups. I've got two people who want to be with me. Which one shall I choose? This is you feeling a great deal of satisfaction and fulfillment of wishes. Beautiful. Now, I have to say, for some of you, you may be in a situation that is a third party. I've got to say that. And you are needing to choose between two people that you may already be connected with. The Nine of Cups can be a little bit of overindulgent energy. Okay, you know the situation you're in. One of which is your true divine masculine. So I'm feeling that one of the people that you have a chance to move forward with is your true divine twin. You could be connected strongly to an Aries with the Emperor card, someone that maybe has been very stable in your life. Yeah, look at what you're doing. Interesting. Seven of Pentacles. You're re-evaluating, Taurus. Re-evaluating maybe a past relationship. And you're trying to decipher... Who is going to be moving forward with me in the next six months? Who is going to offer me the stability that I'm wanting? We have someone here who is very intelligent, fast moving, an air sign, very intellectual. We have someone here very passionate. And I feel that you are stood still on this horse, trying to decide who you want. That's a nice position to be in. But I do feel that you know, or you will know, that there is a connection with someone you feel is your true divine masculine. Interesting, we've got three knights. I pulled three cards for the twin tarot deck and three romance angels. Let's have a look at these. Okay, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together. You have called someone into your life, Taurus. Now, this soulmate card can be a twin flame energy. You could have called in the person who is your true divine masculine. Or, tricky situation, Taurus, you may have a choice between a very deep soulmate and your true divine twin. That is difficult. Who do you choose? Children. Now, you could be thinking about wanting children, who is going to settle down with me, who is going to be walking by my side for the rest of my life, who can I start a family with. For some of you, you have children, and this is a tricky situation because you're needing to take your children into account. Okay? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Beautiful energy. Taurus, you have, I'm feeling, a very difficult decision to make, as I've said. I feel that you've got a choice between a deep soulmate and your true divine twin. There are children in the mix. You could be considering a long-term relationship. Is it worth carrying on in a long-term relationship? You could be also... In a situation, as I said, where you have met someone new and you are trying to make a decision. For some of you, you were caught up in a third party situation and you are now trying to make a decision. Do I detach from the third party? Make it work with 
my current person or do I leave my current person and move forwards with either a soulmate or your divine twin? Taurus. But what I would say, you're in a really good situation. I think if you are sitting in the energy of the Emperor, you're taking control. You are reevaluating what you want in a connection, in a relationship. And you know that whatever you choose is going to provide you with happiness. You are sitting in the wish fulfillment energies. This is gorgeous, Taurus. I'm going to leave it there for you to think about. Simple reading, but very deep, very intense. Yeah, so I'm leaving that with you. Taurus, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for being here. And of course, if you would like to book a private reading, don't hesitate to reach out. My link is below, deborahclare.com. And also on Instagram, if you're interested, Deborah Clare Channel Guidance. Take care of you, Taurus. Bye now.